What a magnificent day the Lord has made. Genesis 15, 12 through 13 says, As the sun was going down, Abram fell into a deep sleep and a terrifying darkness came down over him. Then the Lord said to Abram, You can be sure that your descendants will be strangers in a foreign land where they will be oppressed as slaves for 400 years. Today is Friday, 8 30, 20, 24. And as I was doing my evening and morning devotion, what came to me was walking comatose. As this short video with love from the Lord's word is delivered, I pray that the spirit of the living God will give us an unquenchable desire to seek and follow Jesus wholeheartedly for the good and will of God's kingdom with an unshakable faith and obedience according to the word of God. Proverbs 5, 22 through 23 says, An evil man is held captive by his own sins. They are ropes that catch and hold him. He will die for a, a he will die for a lack of self-control. He will be lost because of his great foolishness. I pray that the Holy Spirit leads us and uses me as a vessel and that my thoughts, words, and actions will always produce good fruit from the Spirit, always coming from a place of love and peace, which is the key to life, imitating God, reflecting a man of God, allowing the light of Jesus to shine in and through me, giving all glory to God and causing at least one million people to come to Jesus for the salvation of their soul. Walking comatose. Romans 11, 7 through 11 says, so this is the situation. Most people, most of the people of Israel have not found favor with God they are looking for so earnestly. A few have the ones God has chosen, but the hearts of the rest were hardened. As the scripture says, God has put into them, God has put them into a deep sleep. To this day, he has shut their eyes so they do not see and closed their ears so they do not hear. Likewise, David said, let their bountiful table become a snare, a trap that makes them think all is well. Let their blessings cause them to stumble. Let them get what they deserve. Let their eyes go blind so they cannot see and let their backs be bent over. Did God's people stumble and fall beyond recovery? Of course not. They were disobedient, so God made salvation available to the Gentiles, but he wanted his own people to become jealous and claim it for themselves. Walking comatose. See, the word comatose comes from the Greek word coma, which means deep sleep, state of severe unconsciousness, inability to respond to stimuli, unaware of one's surroundings. On mayoclinic.org, symptoms of a coma include unconsciousness, closed eyes, depressed brainstem reflexes, such as pupils not responding to light, no responses of limbs except for reflex movements, no response to painful stimuli except for reflex movements, and irregular breathing. Let me say it this way. Many people are walking comatose. They are walking in a state of being dead, connected to the ventilator of God for breathing purposes only. Because of continual disobedience, a lack of faith in the word of God, seeking and depending more on words from man, from men without wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and discernment, without a holy life connection to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. See, many people are being steered away from Jesus, who is the light and the life of the world for everyone who finds and who has found him. Many people are walking comatose. 
See, I had a conversation with a young man recently who made jerseys for a football team with the F-bomb on the shirt. And there were four African-American male children posing with these shirts on with their middle fingers up. Just an example of walking comatose that I'm speaking of. See, many people were posting and reposting this foolishness, this picture, all over social media because of how nice the uniforms look. Overlooking the ignorance and foolishness on display in the photo, it took parents, the designer of the uniform, the coaches, to agree for the children to wear this photo. And then children, without being in their right mind, to pose in these photos. But more on that in a moment. We are talking about walking comatose. See, Deuteronomy 29, 4 through 6 says, But to this day, the Lord has not given you minds that understand, nor eyes that see, nor ears that hear. For 40 years, I led you through the wilderness, yet your clothes and sandals did not wear out. You ate no bread and drank no wine or alcoholic drink, but he provided for you so that you would know that he is Lord your God. See, God is still leading us through the wilderness, supplying all of our needs. However, we are living in an era of the microwave where things are wanted and needed. Now, people say, give me this and our Lord and Savior can wait till I have gotten what I wanted. Proverbs 106, 14 through 15 says, in the wilderness, their desires run wild, testing God's patience in that dry wasteland. So he gave them what they asked for, but he sent a plague along with it. See, we as people will grow through all kinds of planning for pain and suffering for temporary pleasure, all while saying, I know I should not be doing this, but God knows my heart. Yes, the Lord knows that those who do not have complete trust and faith in Jesus to stand on the word of God, obeying all the promises, so obeying all the decrees, requirements, instructions, commandments are not one of his. At every turn, Jesus is offering salvation. However, because of refusal and rejection, people are walking comatose. See, 1 Peter 1, 6 through 7 says, So be truly glad. There is wonderful joy ahead, even though you must endure many trials for a little while. See, these trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. Though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So, when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. See, when God gives us a test and we fail it, we are sure to see that test again. We don't get a promotion to a higher grade. We don't get a promotion to a higher position. So tell me why our school system has a no child left behind policy, just pushing children on whether they learn it or not. However, many of our youth, now young adults, lack the knowledge to keep from being left behind in a world full of drugs, violence, sex trafficking, and human sacrifices where the parents are using their own children. We have transsexuals and homosexuality where people are being supported and supporting, telling individuals to live their best life when our lives are not our own. Our bodies are not our own because we belong to God, our creator. God has given us many promises that all we have to do is stand on faith, stand on the word of God, believe in what he 
has promised us. But people are just giving a complete disrespect, have a lack of fear and utter disregard, disrespect for the word of God. At every turn, Jesus is offering salvation. However, because of refusal and rejection, people are walking comatose. Hosea 4, 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. See, parents talk about how smart their babies are because they can use a tablet, phone, or computer at the age of two years old. When they are five years old, ask them how to spell Jesus or their own name. And many of the youth will say, never heard of it. Or they will say, I don't know. See, the internet and social media are raising many of our children and young adults who think selfishness and personal desires come before the sacrifices Jesus made comes before the word of God. I'm talking about walking comatose. Isaiah 6, 8 through 10 says, Then I heard the Lord saying, Whom should I send as a messenger to the people? Who will go for us? I said, Here I am. Send me. And he said, Yes, go. And say to the people, Listen carefully, but do not understand. Watch closely, but learn nothing. Harden your hearts. Harden the hearts of these people. Plug their ears and shut their eyes. That way they will not see with their eyes, nor hear with their ears, nor understand with their hearts, and turn to me for healing. See, people are quick to say, God does not force his word on anyone. But who is talking about how the enemy, the devil, is forcing his lifestyle on everyone? I mean the entire world, hunting and trying to choke out as many of God's people as possible. See, many people run from what will heal you to what will kill you. See, God is knowledge that most people don't have. God is wisdom that those with knowledge don't know how to apply. Jesus is the light that makes the blind see. And the Holy Spirit is our God that keeps all of our senses on the right path. Mark 10, 18 says, why do you call me good? Jesus asked, only God is truly good. See, living in foolishness, many fight God and the word of God who is good for everyone only to seek and run to the evil pleasures of the enemy, the devil, that will kill everyone who finds pleasure and stays there. See, Jesus is offering salvation to everyone. However, because of refusal and rejection, people are walking comatose. Amos 8, 11 through 13 says, The time is surely coming, says the sovereign Lord, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread or water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. People will stagger from sea to sea and wander from border to border, searching for the word of the Lord, but they will not find it. Beautiful girls and strong young men will grow faint that day, thirsting for the Lord's word. See, God, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is the only one who can open our eyes and ears and soften our hearts. But it starts with a choice to choose Jesus over everything, to allow him to lead us. Wake up before it's too late. Don't keep walking comatose. Acts 2, 38 through 39 says, Peter replied, each of you, must repent of your sins and turn to God. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This promise is to you, to your children, and those far away, 
all who have been called by the Lord our God. Come to Jesus today. Jesus is our Redeemer, the stairway between heaven and earth, the mediator between God and man, the open door, the gate, and the good shepherd of all God's flock. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you with love, thanks, and appreciation in my heart and flowing from my lips. I thank you for your grace, kindness, unfailing love, mercy, favor, forgiveness, and the increasing of our faith that you grant to us each day when you give us new breath of life. O oh Lord, the God of our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, make your people always want to obey you. See to it that our love for you never changes. I know, my God, that you examine our hearts and rejoice when you find integrity there. O oh Lord, we adore you as the one who is over all things. Everything in the heavens and on the earth is yours. And you are God of this kingdom alone. At your discretion, you make people great and give them strength so you will receive the ultimate glory. Even your enemy, the devil, needs your permission to touch your holy people like he needed your permission to touch Job. Heavenly Father, give us the wholehearted desire to obey all your commands, laws, decrees, and to do everything necessary for the good and will of your kingdom to produce good fruit and to bring you all the glory. Dear Lord, we thank you, we love you, we honor you, and we adore you. We magnify and praise your glorious and holy name. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a magnum amazing day and leave a legacy doing legendary things, seeking and loving God first through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in all areas of your life and making a commitment to live by the word of God through faith and obedience, walking comatose. Our purpose is your blessing. God bless.